Hi, good afternoon. This is Wednesday, 22nd, I think. This is Cheryl, Sea Spirit Tarot. This is the job my guides gave me, or I gave myself, whatever, my solar plexus, my throat. These are harder for me, these elemental, bringing in the elemental energies. Maybe I should put those under practice videos. They're all practice videos for me. I am going to do a Scorpio New Moon reading for the fire signs. And first I want to preface this with a lecture that I heard at the Theosophical, on the Theosophical Society. And he was talking about uh, ancient or esoteric astrology. And it was uh, Scorpio and Virgo were both repressed by the patriarchy. Scorpio was previously a feminine sign of mystical restoration and power. She is now repressed, reclusive, and secretive. And that is where, sorry about that, that is where you see that reclusive Scorpio, that, that fighting back the, um, the Scorpio stinger. The Scorpio stinger, as we know, Scorpio has. But the other side of Scorpio, when you dig deep, and realize that, that all these darknesses can be worked through, that is when the Scorpio rises as the Phoenix. And I hope for us all that we get through this and rise as the Phoenix. The Scorpio moon gives us good energy, kind of out of order here. The goddess card that came up was Circe. And I tell you, this is absolutely 100% opposite of a Circe photo, not photo, picture painting that I have had hanging in my house for probably 25 years. But here is uh, she, in this prayer, they've got prayers on the back, in this prayer, something about her taking off the, the parts of the men that aren't who they really are, who they thought they had been. So here's a divine feminine working a bit harshly to disarm the divine male, to open him up to where he is. So, boy, I thought this woman looked like a bit of a Scorpio sting, don't you think? But she goes over here. The Halloween card that came up is a skeleton. When you work through, after you work through Scorpio, uh, there's really not going to be anything left but bare bones, bare bones, uh, nowhere to hide. You can either close off and become more reclusive are open it up to the bare bones. Bare bones. And I kind of want to get this last card where I can see it better. This was, a, this was from a deck I have, a Vedic deck. But more important than it's Scorpio moon is that it's in the eighth house. Which one is how the Vedic say it? The Overlord is in Scorpio. So here are the issues you could be dealing with easily. It would be like in the basement of the house and give it a room. Legacies. That could be money. It could be reputations. Mysteries. Scandal. Weaknesses. Unearned wealth. is inheritance. A lot to do with old money in Scorpio. Suicide because they do get so repressed, hidden things, longevity, <laughs> mostly Edgar Allan Poe, and the occult. So these are the issues that may well come up for you while the new moon in Scorpio. And can I see that from here? I can. So in this spread, fire signs, this is for the fire signs, what needs to be transformed in here? We got a pinnacle here. It's pretty earthy. Scorpios are water, but they deal with a lot of earthy things. Uh, this is a king. The king rules the kingdom. Could you be inheriting money? You know, is there a legacy somewhere? What is hidden behind that pinnacle? What do you need tra to transform? Maybe pay better attention to the tenants of your kingdom. 
other people. Though pinnacles are usually pretty gracious. But this is material goods. Material goods and your carbon-based body. Okay. Then two, what, what do you need to let go of? And this one has me really stumped. Because this is the Ace of Cups. But within the Ace holds all the potentials to the ten. And as we said with Scorpio, they can they can be weak. They can uh, suicide, addictions, deep, deep, deep reclusive, um, controlling. All emotions. Emotions, more of the dark side that they keep hidden. So fire signs... Do you have some emotions that are flying out in your fiery way that need to be tempered? Or are you overdoing it a little bit in any of the areas of drugs and drink? Or do you even have a fantasy? A fantasy, maybe a love fantasy. Deep, deep, deep in. Three... How can I? How can a fire sign best cultivate their inner peace? Here we have the five of wands. I like this because the bobbies back there, they're just kind of holding their wands, you know, kind of keeping the circle, I guess. And then the two guys that were getting ready to bop each other, they're not hitting each other. They're looking at each other. And the man in the middle, the number five, the middle, the pivot of change, He's holding his rod upright, upright to the heavens, attaching to the earth. And he has his left arm raised, which would be your receiving hand. Um, and you'll notice that nobody's fighting. So fire signs, this is a fire card, a five of change. It could be changes you need to make, changes you're battling within yourself. To maybe something's not happening quite right in this water section of emotions. And um, this is who, this is where your fire energy needs to be going. How can you best heal old pain, fire signs? Page of Pentacles. Get a realistic view on them. A lot of times you take old wounds and you just give them a different story, you know? Uh, well, they were anger, but, but can you verbalize them in humor? Can you verbalize them in sadness? Can you verbalize them in nonchalance? Take the energy off the story and make it different. This could also be uh, going on a diet, a page. It's a new thought. It's a new way of being that's going to deal with with the material side of you. And, and I just say that because pinnacles deal with the body. And longevity is one of the things in Scorpio, deep, deep down in that underworld. Also is unearned wealth. That, that could be a second significator that you know that inheritance is coming to you soon. Be careful you don't cause a scandal with this... Uh, Ace of Cups here, right? What are your guides trying to tell you before going into this moon cycle? There's your fire. Go in with your purity. The Ace. All potential exists there up to the ten, up to the, ten, up to the King. Go in with purity of fire. Because you would be working more towards this King. And... I am going to pull a couple of animal cards as um, clarifiers. I'm kind of confused. So the first one, what needs transforming at this time? <laughs> well, it didn't help me much. It's a beetle, and it says, what is unregarded or discarded holds a secret, a seed of creation. So I'm still going back to there again. Don't don't discard, and a legacy may be coming. To me, that shows uh, that shows that that you have a secure a base. You have a kingdom, a kingdom that you are satisfied with. 
And um, what do you need to let go of? Came up the porcupine. Defend yourselves honorably without hurting those close to you. Are you involved in a scandal? A scandal of feeling. Have you gotten yourself into a relationship that you maybe want to get out of? Remember, a porcupine, though, always demands respect. People respect a porcupine just by the mere sense of it being. Best cultivate the inner peace. Showing here the five of swords of eliminating discord in your life. And what came up was the dolphin. Tune into the rhythm of your breath to find stillness and patience. And that is the most important thing that you can do is breathe. Breathe through your nostrils. That goes back to the Vedic mil is it millions or thousands and thousands of years ago. It's all in your breath. Control your breath. You cannot do deep breathing and be letting your mind running monkey crazy. How can you best heal all pain, fire signs? The page of pinnacles there. Wild horse. Speak your patient aloud and defend those whom you love in word and deed. And my original thought was this, was give it a different story. Give it a different story. This would be more like the student. You know, he doesn't have his kingdom yet. He's still bringing out, out his words. Um, what number was he for? Best heal old pain. Speak your passion. Examine your passion. Speak it in different ways. It's amazing what the emotion, emotion, energy and motion behind words can can be. I'll pull one from the middle here. What the guys want to tell me going into the moon cycle. And this is where I was wondering over here if, if you got a little harsh, a little harsh behavior. That fireside came out. Because here we have the deer. The deer is slick and timid. The deer watches. The deer, what does it say about the deer? Take note of the messages and whispers and secrets in the wind. Uh, drift on the breeze. Women call in the wind. Listen to the wind. Listen to your intuition as you go into this. And here's some hope. And, and I mean, this is digging deep here. This is digging in deep into legacies, inheritance, scandals, putting a different story on it, maintaining your, your fire, maintaining it appropriately. You have, you have two pinnacles of grounding, but this cup to me shows that there could be some emotion out of hand, which could lead to violence. It could lead to addiction. I don't know. It looks like something's not leading quite right. But have no fear, because the bottom of the deck is here, fire signs, and it is the magician. As a magician, you have all the tools. This is the first card in the Major Arcana. It's actually the only major arcana that came up in this drawing. You have two aces, though. Two aces of new beginnings to do something differently. Magician has all the tools. He's examining just as the Page of Pentacles. The only thing the magician needs to do now is move on it. Move on it. So, to move on... And being being a goddess, be a goddess, help these men. I, I don't know how many men watch this. You're going to go deep down the bare skeletons. I mean, Scorpio house is intense, intense. Pay attention to those beetles. Remember those beetles in um, Practical Magic? Practical Magic. Are there, are there some beetles forming some cracks in your kingdom that need to be looked at? Emotional fulfillment, fantasy, um, could be mood disorder, 
to be looking out for. But examine these things because you ground yourself. And fire is soul source, soul source. This would be the moon, which is your reflection upon that. And the magician would be Mercury. So you have your, your soul source sun of who you are. You have your water that reflects on who you think you are. And you have Mercury that puts the words to it. All right? You're going to be down to bare bones. This is the season. Uh, this will last for about 30 days. It starts. Oh, this. I'm talking about Scorpio said. This new moon is on the 27th. So actually at a time right before Halloween, it's a great time to dig down. Dig deep down into who you are, what you are, and how you want to change as you go forth. Because as um, Saturn, what is this same thing, thing here I wanted to say? Jupiter wants spiritual justice. Saturn wants karma to be delivered. Galactic unification in the kundalini of fire, fire signs. So step up, do your part, God bless, love and light. May you look deeper than your aspects and come out like a shining phoenix from the whole thing. May the goddess bless. Bye-bye.